everyone. I hope you've had a lovely Easter holiday and I hope you're looking forward to lots more busy learning at home. So, I've come to read you another story today. It is That Pesky Rat and it's by Lauren Child who is the person who wrote um, the Charlie and Lola books. So I hope you enjoy it. It is one of my favourites. That Pesky Rat. This is me. I'm the one with the pointy nose and the beady eyes, the cutesy one in the middle. I live in dustbin number three, Grubby Alley. Every now and again, I come back to find someone has emptied all my belongings into a big van and driven off with them. It's very upsetting. I'm a brown rat, a street rat, but people call me that pesky rat. I don't know why they say I smell, but it's not my fault, it's the dirt. Sometimes, when I'm tucked into my crisp packet, I look up at all the cosy windows and wonder what it would be like to live with creature comforts, to belong to somebody, to be an actual pet. Most of all, I would like to have a name instead of just that pesky rat. My friend Pierre, who is a chinchilla, is looked after by a rich lady called Madame Fifi. He has a very glamorous life. He lives in the lap of luxury. I say, I would quite like to live in a fashionable apartment and be fed chocolates while I sit on a feather cushion. Pierre says, it's not all cushions and chocolates. Madame Fifi has me shampooed at the pet parlour once a week. I hate having baths. I think I'm allergic to soap. Then, there's this Siamese cat called Oscar. He lives with Mr Washington, a busy businessman. Mr Washington is always at work, so he doesn't have much time to wash fur or be strict. If I lived there, I could do whatever I liked. Oscar says, doing what you want can get tiring after a while. I sometimes get a bit bored watching the same old shows on TV. I even have to get my own supper. I'm quite good in the kitchen, but I hate to be bored. A lop-eared rabbit I know called Nibbles works in a circus with Mr Hoopala. It must be so exciting, never a dull moment. Swinging on the trapeze one minute, tiptoeing on the high wire the next. Nibbles says, it is fun hopping through hoops in a tutu, but sometimes I could do with taking off the clown's nose and putting my feet up. Maybe it's all a bit nerve-wracking for me. I think I'd quite like to be with one of those owners who do a lot of sitting about, like Miss St. Clair. Her Scotty dog Andrew is always sitting by the fire, having supper on a tray and spending the evening doing puzzles together. Andrew says, on the whole, I feel very well looked after and Miss, Miss Sinclair is, a good, is good company, but it's rather embarrassing when we go out shopping. Miss St. Clair makes Andrew wear a little hat and a coat. I don't think clothes would suit me, but I would do anything to be somebody's pet. So in the morning, I go to the pet shop and ask Mrs. Trill if she has an owner who might want me. She says, there isn't much call for brown rats and I'm afraid you aren't very popular with the public. I say, I don't see why not. I'm very good company, always popping up when you least expect it and I'm happy to eat anything, even if it has been slightly nibbled. Mrs Trill says, well, you could always make a notice and put it in the window. You never know. So I 
Sky writes, brown cat looking for a kindly owner. Hobbies include nibbling and chewing, would like a collar with my name on, would like a name, would prefer no baths, will wear a jumper if pushed. Yours kindly, brown rat, that pesky rat. P.S. Sorry about the bad poor writing. Not very good picture of me. Then I wait and I wait and I wait until on Tuesday old Mr Fortescue is passing and he stops to look at my notice. He has to really squint because he has such bad eyesight. Then he looks at me and says, my, haven't you got a pointy nose? Goodness me, what a long tail and such unusually beady eyes. I'll take him. I can't believe my luck. Nor can Mrs Trill. Mrs Trill says, are you sure? And Mr Fortescue says, oh yes, I've been looking for a brown cat as nice as this one for ages. Mrs Trill looks at me and I look at Mrs Trill. And we both look at my notice, but neither of us say a word. I just love being a pet and I'm trying really hard to be helpful. I pick out all the best cheeses by using my excellent sniffing nose. I clean the kitchen by nibbling the crumbs. I help Mr Fortescue cross the road by scaring the traffic. And I'm always there when he comes home. So here I am, finally a pet with a name. So what if I have to wear a little jumper? Mr Fortescue says, Well, Tiddles, who's a pretty little kitty cat? And I squeak, Well, I hope you enjoyed my story. See you soon. Bye.